Dassault Rafale. This French multi-purpose fourth-generation fighter was developed by Dassault Aviation. The development of the Rafale aircraft began in 1983. It can be used as a strike fighter bomber and an interceptor, guaranteeing air superiority and air defense. It can also be used for bombing ground targets. Rafale's construction is based on the tailless scheme, with a large triangular wing with big influxes. In the front of the vehicle, there's an additional high horizontal stabilizer. The wing has two section slats and one section ailerons. Part of the wing is made from titanium alloys, while other parts are made of carbon plastic. The power plant of the aircraft consists of two two-circuit turbojet engines, which are built with the latest technologies and materials used in this field. F-35 These are Phantom multifunctional fifth-generation fighter bombers developed by the American firm Lockheed Martin in three versions. A ground fighter for the U.S. Air Force, a short-range takeoff and vertical landing fighter for the U.S. Marine Corps and the British Navy, and a water fighter for the Navy. The F-35 aircraft are equipped with air-to-air -air missiles as well as cruise missiles, adjustable bombs weighing up to 2,000 pounds, cluster bombs, guided air bombs and anti-tank missiles. Especially for the F-35 fighter-bomber, a four-barrel 25mm caliber cannon was created. On the modified F-35A, the gun is installed inside the aircraft, above and behind the left air intake, and the ammunition is 180 rounds. For the F-35B and F-35C, a suspended rear container with 220 rounds of ammunition, attached under the fuselage, was designed. Saab JAS-39 Gripen This aircraft was designed by Saab AB in the mid-1980s. The vehicles used to intercept air targets, conduct air combat, carry out shock and reconnaissance missions. The aerodynamic scheme of the aircraft is a duck with an intermediate triangular wing. About 30% of the design of the fighter is made from composite materials. The fighter is also equipped with two S-shaped air intakes. The power is provided by a two-circuit turbojet Volvo Aero RM12 engine. The fighter cabin is equipped with extensive viewing windows and three multifunction displays. The short control handle is fixed right in front of the pilot's seat, and in the event of an electronic control system failure, the nasal wings are automatically reset, and the airplane is automatically aligned thanks to its aerodynamic scheme. The control is then transferred to the backup system. In the event of an engine failure, electrical energy is produced by an air microturbine. The aircraft is also equipped with backup batteries, enough for 10 minutes of flight, meaning you can reach a landing runway if it's in sight. F-22 Raptor to date, the F-22 is the most expensive fighter in the history of aviation. The cost of one aircraft, excluding the funds spent on its development, is $146 million. The aircraft is an integrated circuit. It has a high-lying trapezoidal wing. In the design of the glider, titanium alloys, aluminium alloys, composite and radio-absorbing materials are widely used. Composite materials not only make it possible to reduce the level of radar visibility of the aircraft, but also significantly reduced its mass. All joints formed at the junction of various parts and parts of the aircraft have a sawtooth shape that reduces the reflection of electromagnetic waves. The cockpit has an uninterrupted light system made of polycarbonate. It has a special coating that dissipates radio waves. The power for the F-22 Raptor is provided by two dual-circuit turbojet engines that allow the aircraft to develop supersonic speed without using an afterburner, which is one of the basic requirements for fifth-generation aircraft. Gripen 
Grumman F-14 Tomcat. This is a twin-jet fourth-generation fighter with different shaped wings, manufactured by Grumman Aircraft Engineering Corporation. The F-14 focuses primarily on rejecting missile strikes on ship groupings. The main element of the F-14 is the weapon control system Hughes AN-AWG-9. For close combat, the Tomcat has a built-in 20mm automatic cannon with a combat kit of 675 rounds. The basic missile weapons are four air-to-air -air AIM-54 or AIM-7 missiles located on pylons under the fuselage. The F-14 is the only aircraft capable of carrying an air-to-air -air missile of long range. This missile, worth $500,000, is able to hit targets at a distance of 115 miles. This gives the F-14 the ability to destroy enemy planes before they appear on their radar screen. Su-35 This aircraft is designed to intercept and destroy long-range and close-range targets on air battles, fighting or air supremacy, and also to destroy ground targets, surface targets and ground infrastructure covered by air defense assets and located at considerable distances from an air base. The aircraft combines the qualities of a modern fighter and the quality of a good tactical aircraft. The Su-35 fighter uses two two-circuit turbojet engines with a special controlled traction vector and an afterburner. The cockpit's equipped with a holographic indicator on the windshield, including two liquid crystal displays, allowing it to work in multi-screen mode. The Su-35 is equipped with a modern weapon control system, which includes an optoelectronic system and a multifunctional weapon control system. The multi-mode anti-jamming system includes a mode for attacking ground targets, mapping the Earth's surface, and finding air targets at a distance of up to 250 miles, as well as ground ones up to 125 miles. Su-57 this multi-role fifth-generation fighter is being developed in Russia, and it's one of the most promising aircraft in the world. Its main features are its high speed, powerful engine, super maneuverability, low visibility, and also a powerful weapon system and an advanced electronic system. At the same time, most of the information about the Su-57 at the moment is secret. For this reason, only approximate characteristics of the aircraft are known. For example, the span of the wing and the length of the Su-57 is greater than the ones in the F-22, but less than the Su-27. By mass, it probably belongs to the class of the heavy fighters. According to some reports, the fighter weighs about 41,000 pounds. The single cockpit is equipped with an oxygen generator, as well as two multifunctional indicators for displaying information. As an armament, the Su-57 has a built-in gun diameter of 30 mm. The McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle This all-weather, fourth-generation American jet fighter was put into operation as far back as 1976. It was designed for aerial combat and was developed as part of a joint program of the Air Force and NASA. The aircraft is built using titanium and aluminium alloys, high-strength steel and at least 5% of composite materials. The fighter is 64 feet long with a wingspan of 42 feet and a maximum speed at a high altitude of 1650 miles per hour. The crew of the F-15, like other similar vehicles, consists of one person. The fuel on the F-15 is located in six fuel tanks, four in the fuselage and two in the wings. According to the latest information, this fighter will remain in the US Air Force until 2025.